Gucci, today was one of the greatest days of my entire life. So I went and I got my scuba gear. Ah! Okay, it was so exciting. It was so overwhelming. First of all, uh, what are you doing? The appointment that we had was set for 10, right when they opened, and uh, we got there 20 minutes early. So, a little unnecessary, but that's all right. We rolled with it. What are you doing? You're gonna fall. Here. There you go, go. Go, up. Whatever she wants to do, she can do. So, I, to be completely honest, thought that we were going to be renting everything when we did our scuba certification, but it turns out there are a few things that they really highly recommend you don't rent through them because they're not only not going to fit as well, they're also going to be very worn out. He, the person that we were talking to today, told us that generally, I mean, <clears throat> they have people going in there trying to use equipment that's like 20, 30 years old, like masks, snorkels. And the hard thing is, is that they have leaks, more prone to cracking, they're scratched, hard to maneuver, yada, 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 the list goes on and on. So, when we went there, I didn't have anything, right? I swim growing up, but I don't have any sort of snorkeling or scuba gear. And Hi Kyler, Hyler, I don't know what kind of name that is, he has fins and he has a snorkel and goggles. But his snorkel, I mean, it was it was pretty old in the tube. Let me reach it. The tube is like kind of yellow. So when we were talking about it, we were thinking, well, you know, maybe we'll just get a new one. It'll be nicer quality and we'll be starting out great. Plus, I mean, when you're there, it gets so exciting. It's like a kid in a candy store. Everything looks so shiny and new and you just want to walk out with your arms full of stuff. That's exactly what we did. So I'm going to go through what I got and that way if you're interested on what it, what it takes, what it looks like, you know. Now we started with the mask and I have kind of a small round head. Obviously you guys can see that you're looking at me right now. But something that I... It's like trying on shoes. No, it's like... Yeah, it's like trying on shoes and then choosing what shoe you wanted. So this is the one that I ended up going with. It's a Tusa, Tessa, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that. Tessa Clio, uh, that's even harder to pronounce, uh, two. And it's one of the smaller size masks and this is the one that fit the best because you have a hood coming and you want the hood to go right on top so you don't want this excess, I guess, to be really high up in the foreline, but just look at this. <laughs> Okay, so Kyler and I, <laughs> this is going to be so amazing, you guys. <laughs> Kyler and I were, actually, not Kyler and I, I spent 90% nine, spent of the time staring at him and giggling at how silly he looked in the mask, and oh my goodness, <laughs> when we had to try on the hoods with the wetsuits on, oh <laughs> It like made my cheeks like come up and it was so bad, so bad. After we did the mask, we did the snorkel. And when I was talking to the guy, he was saying that we could do the different colors as long as they had colors. So in the goggles, I tried on the blue and he came back and he says, you know, we also have black. And I said, I'd prefer to get black and I want everything to be black. And he was like, okay, we're not going to be able to see you underwater. And I said, you know what? I'm just trying to look like an animal. I'll be more likely to get eaten by an orca, which would then mean before I die, I could see an orca. So we're looking at the snorkels. And what's really cool about this one is it bends even up here at the top. It bends pretty much all the way down and collapses down. I mean, look at this. And it's multifunctional because it has this, um, it has the, oh my goodness, I can't even remember what they're called now. This is clearly not an educational video if I don't remember the words. It's a pur purge valve. So they have a purge valve up here, but then they also have one down here. So it makes it a lot easier to clear water. 
and I love that especially because we'll be traveling internationally and it'll be really easy to fit that into the suitcase even though that wasn't really the worry the biggest thing is that I have a standard carry-on suitcase and I'm worried about the fins fitting because I really don't want to have to check any luggage because luggage gets lost luggage gets stolen luggage takes forever when you check it under the plane but I don't think that I'll have really any choice to do it not not to do it because of how big the fins are which leads us to the next part after we did the snorkels we did the booties look at how cute these are I love so I have a really high arch in my foot and I love shoes that don't have a super hard sole growing up I loved wearing um, Converse and Vans sliders but the problem is is the on Vans especially the the sole is so tight that it kind of hurts my feet more often than not but I have this one pair of tennis shoes and I'll have to share in another video I'm gonna be making a some a couple more travel related videos when it gets closer to the trip because I like to pack a certain way and I really think it's beneficial and I really would love and I'm going to absolutely love sharing everything with you from outfits to how I pack to tips about what we did how we got there and that sort of thing but and I'll talk about those shoes then but with these I was really excited because the sole is bendable so when I'm and these are kind of booties that you can wear when you're a scuba dive when you're snorkeling too like if the reef if you're going by a reef or if you are going to be walking along the shoreline and kind of going and searching and exploring and you don't want to wear flip-flops because those aren't very protective but you also don't want to wear tennis shoes that are going to get super wet these are going to be really easy and really exciting and really fun to do that because they're going to protect my feet so I wear a six and a half, uh, six, six and a half in standard shoes and in heels. I'm a seven, but that's not important here. And Kyler wears a 12. And so 12, he wears an 11 and a half or a 12. We were both kind of nervous because we're mid sizes and they actually don't carry mid sizes with boots or shoes or actually, I'm a little embarrassed with what these are actually called. I call them, I call them booties and that's what I like to call them. That's what I'm going to keep calling them. So we got the aqua lung. Oh, and the snorkel was also a Tusa snorkel. It, oh, a quality product of Tabata. That's cool. I don't know where that is. I'll have to look it up sometime. But these are the booties that we got. And I am, mine are a size 6. You want them to be tight, but you don't want them to be painful because this is going to help keep your body warm in the water. And then Kyler got, we got matching ones. <laughs> he got the same brand, but his are 11s. 12s they're 12s so I ended up sizing down from my half and he ended up sizing up from his half but it works out because it, they fit perfectly in my schmancy black fins and these are Tusa guys I'm seeing a trend here I think I like this brand and if you're somebody who snorkels and scuba dives a lot you'll have to tell me how these are in reference to um, you know cost on the the best kinds and not so best kinds but I got the two stuff fins it's the solo fin and I got a size small and they fit perfect and you know we were looking at a couple of different fins that had a, a part right here that was a lot more flimsy and they were really short and when I was talking to the guy he was telling me that it's better for it to be more firm because when you're when you're going scuba diving for example in the Pacific Northwest and it's really cold you have a lot more gear on than you would if you're going in tropical waters so you're you're going to be heavy so you want something that's a little bit more firm to help give you more energy and help push you along instead of the kind of flimsier or floppier fins that a lot of people like aesthetically and I ended up going with these and I was so excited that they had my size in black because it matches my total aesthetic it matches the black of my soul okay <laughs> a little too much hated coming on a little too strong the next thing that we got are gloves and I was actually a little nervous because where we're going we don't technically need to have any gloves but they recommend it because it helps hello hello what are you doing? Are you interrupting me? Sit. Sit down. Good girl. So, we don't need gloves where we're going, or I'm pretty sure we don't actually need booties either. But they're really nice because they help protect you against a lot of any type of coral stings, that sort of thing. So we ended up getting these gloves, and they actually were sold out of their recommended gloves, their most popular gloves, because of uh, shipment issues with the pandemic, right? We all know it. We're all experiencing it. And so we ended up getting these gloves. They are the Submersian, Submersian Deep Sea Diving Gloves, and they are five millimeters this is a small 
I tried on, oh my goodness, it was so funny. I tried on the small and then I tried on the extra small and he said that you want it to be tight. There's going to be a little pocket of air in your palm, but that's just because of how your hands normally sit and you want to be able to get it on, but you don't want it to cut off circulation. Well, I thought that the small had maybe a little bit of wiggle room, so I wanted to try on the extra small. Well, I put on the extra small and I was kind of, you know, like pulling it on because it was really tight and then as soon as I had it on, I could feel my heartbeat <laughs> in my hand and I felt the circulation disappearing and I the blood you know no blood flow so then I asked him I said you know listen this is the perfect I feel like this is how tight they should be but I, I can't I'm worried about blood circulation and he was like okay so you should never be worried about blood circulation he's like it's not really a, if you can squeeze into it it's the perfect size you need to make sure you're comfortable in it and I was like well you know I guess I can understand that because sometimes on a good day I can really squeeze into a pair of jeans that's two sizes smaller than what I normally wear but that doesn't mean it's a good idea uh, we had a I had a few lives laughs I probably embarrass myself a lot more <laughs> than anything else while I was there but it was grand it was good it was fine Kyler's fins are Mare's Avanti Quattro and he has the extra large made in Bulgaria I like that his mask is the Tusa Freedom HD and it is the Oh, there's no size. Just black. His snorkel is the same as mine, Tusa, and then his gloves are also the deep sea, same as mine. Now, we had to get regulator mouthpieces because we are going to be renting a lot of the technical gear from them and the wetsuits for our class because, I mean, have you guys seen how expensive those are? And I guess it makes sense that if you don't like it, then you don't ever have to use it again right so we got the mouthpieces that we got are black silicone they're scuba is the brand xs scuba and uh kyler got all black and i got all black with accents of red that way we can tear them apart so i'm gonna be all black except for little pieces of red that i have in the mouthpiece now i see i we were shoving everything in here while we were trying to leave the only other thing let me think here because i know that i got oh they did give us so the the straps on the back of the masks are um, rubber, plas not plastic. They're kind of like goggles. And he said that when you're in the pool, especially with long hair, and Kyler, excuse me, has longer hair, that it gets stick and stuck and really tangly and it's really uncomfortable. So he actually gave us some free bands that kind of attach to the masks and then they, it's flat against your head so that you don't have to worry about that happening. And then he also gave us this scrub mask and slate cleaner. And it's, there's a film that comes on, that goes on your goggles that makes them really, really foggy the first time you use them. So they actually, instead of using a toothbrush and toothpaste, they actually came out with a scrub, which you essentially put a couple drops on the mask and just wipe it with your finger and it helps get rid of that film that's on there when you first buy it. And then also this is called Quick Spit Anti-Fog. So it says long lasting spray formula, eco-friendly, made in the US of A, and works on glass and plastic. So it looks like it, you rub over, rinse, no residue, avoid touching lens ever rinsing pre-clean yep so it looks like it, it helps with just defogging like it says and then uh, it looks like this is natural and hypoallergenic alcohol and bleach free you know we like that stuff i think that that was everything <sighs> think that that was all my loot and to be completely honest I'm so excited like I don't even think I could put into words how excited I am and how real everything just got I mean not to mention this is an expensive hobby so part of me is really excited because I think I'll really love it and the other part of me is praying that I love it as much as I as I <laughs> as much as possible because I mean this stuff isn't cheap right and he was saying that with a lot of gear you pay with what you pay you you get what you pay for so if you go for the really really cheap brands they're more cost efficient but they're also less reliable they're less you know less good they're not as good as the more expensive stuff and the stuff that we decided to go with are more of like mid-range because I, I'm not gonna for example they have some really nice pairs of gloves there that are perfect for when you're doing diving out here in the really cold water and they're really nice but they were about three four times the amount 
of the of the gloves that we got and what if we love scuba diving in tropical water but we hate scuba diving up here because it's so cold it's so much darker yada 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 the list goes on I'm pretty excited because we're trying to decide between getting our certification for dry suit or our certification for wetsuit. So this is a really rare opportunity because we'll be I'll be able to show you guys kind of what it's like. Now, the water out here is about 50 degrees, 55 degrees, I believe is what he said that it's clocking at right now, which is really cold. But we are currently getting certified for wetsuit certification and they recommend doing dry suit out here. And the difference essentially is wetsuit, you're wet, but it keeps you warm and dry suit, you're dry when you're in the water. So it keeps you a lot warmer, especially when you're in really cold water. So we're, we have our first pool day next Saturday. <sighs> You guys this is so exciting our first pool day is next Saturday and what we're going to be doing is on the pool day if we are able to go in and swim in the wetsuit with the gear on for I believe we're going to be in the water for a few hours doing drills and training and if we're shivering if we're cold in the wetsuit in the pool that's 80 degrees then we're going to upgrade and pay I believe it's it's a discounted amount because we're already taking the class and we haven't been certified yet. It would be about a $250 difference, so additional amount for us to get the dry suit certification. So if we're cold on the pool day, then we're going to upgrade to the dry suit and we'll have an additional class that we take in between the two weekends. But essentially, within the next 14 days, we are going to go through so many different things. There are so many exciting things happening. Also, it's Halloween and that is always the best say ever because it's when you know spooky spirits come out to play and it's you know we're coming up on the time we're coming into November there's gonna be less pumpkin spicy things and I just I love autumn I love the fall seasons and this is just it's it's amazing it's like you know miracles happen dreams come true around the holidays and this is something that I never thought that I'd want to do but now that it's here I absolutely can't wait and I can't wait to bring you guys along for the journey I'm gonna be talking a little bit more obviously you guys are gonna be seeing more of me talking about scuba, especially when I take the certification. They did say that I can't film when I'm being certified because we're gonna be too focused during drills, but they do say that on the first open water day, they try to get a lot of the drills and exercises out of the way so that the second day, all of the dives can be more like a tour underwater than a lesson. And that is the day that he said that I will be able to bring my camera, so if I pass, <laughs> and I make it through all the way I'm gonna bring you guys with me and I'm gonna show you what it's like from start to finish hopefully the whole time of what it'll be like under the water and then we're gonna be doing a lot of other really exciting things between now and then that I'm gonna be capturing you guys on this is all part of my adventure adventure bucket list right I mean I've showed you guys the video I'm doing all these things I'm looking at places and I'm looking at plans and I mean I I didn't realize how doable some of these things really are. I mean, obviously you have to have the funds, right? That's a big part of it. You have to have the funds to be able to, to do, to purchase the gear and to go out and do and get the certification. And that's true, that's true, that's true. But we see people all the time on social media going out of, t out of the country, out of town, all the time going to Italy, traveling all over the place. And we sit here thinking, oh my goodness, what are they doing that I'm not doing? And for me, it was instead of buying instead of a few subscriptions, instead of buying some things that I like to do, instead of doing some crafts, I was able to use those funds towards this, right? And it, it's crazy how just allocating funds to different places can save you so much more money and you don't realize it until you want something that you start saving money for. But that would probably be the biggest thing for me is just start saving now. If you know that you're the kind of person who wants to go on adventures and wants to do big things, then just start saving now. Because little by little, it'll add up and it'll be worth it. And even if you work a full-time job like I do, like Kyler does, We will. you're still able to set away time to go in, on adventures and explore things. You still have your weekends and nights and mornings. You're not stuck with what you're doing. It, you have to make the most out of your situation, right? And this is me making the most out of my situation, and I'm so excited, and I would definitely be not being a truther if I went, if I told you that I wasn't about to go put all of this on and see what it looks like. So if you guys want to see those pictures and what it looks like with me wearing everything, leave a comment down below. Don't forget, like and subscribe this video. Head over to my channel, watch some of the other awesome videos that I'm sharing. Enjoy my journey with me. I can't wait to see you guys next time and I'll talk to you later.